Hello, 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 everybody. Val Nichols here coming at you live on this beautiful Monday morning. I say that because honestly, I used to kind of dread Mondays, right? Like I'd walk in the office, unlock that office door, sit down on my desk, just thinking, okay, here we go again. Here goes another week. Hello, hello. Sorry, it's not telling me who's popping on, but I just saw your heart. Thank you so, so much. So when you hop on, let me know, do you love Mondays? Do you not love Mondays? What's the deal? <gasps> Kelly, oh my goodness, my love. Hello, hello. So good to see you. So I used to dread Mondays. When I would walk in, I would always get that like Monday blues. That's when I would really think things like, I wish I had more weekends or I wish I had less Mondays. And I would just sit there and really wait until Friday came around so that I could actually plan my life, so that I could do something that I absolutely love. Kelly says, I don't mind them actually. Awesome. Well, very cool. That's good. Because, you know, that's the freedom of being an entrepreneur, of doing oh, what you truly oh. love, whether if that is that you are pursuing a career that absolutely lights you up, or if that's really like going after a dream that you truly desire. My goal and my experience is that when I wasn't truly pursuing my dreams, I dreaded Mondays. And today, it is actually one of my favorite days ever. I love to get back into action, to get back into thing, to know that I have a whole week full of clients, full of amazing things that we're working on both in the moment and for the future, and some really exciting things coming up for you guys as well, which I'm going to share about, so stick around to the end. Kelly says, I hated them even when I was young. Oh my goodness. And thank you for sharing, Kelly. That makes me so, so happy, my love. So, you know, the reason why I point this is because I was reminded this morning during my prayer and meditation of a time when I was really just like, I wasn't pursuing my dreams, right? Like having had a past that was a little bit broken, right? Like the broken road that leads us to here. I remember feeling as if like I would look around at all these other people online and I would think, wow, you know, that's really cool that they get to chase their dreams or they get to live their best life or that they get to make a ton of money online. But honestly, I was afraid to really allow myself to go there. I was afraid to allow myself to go there. And I held back. I played so small for so long because honestly, I was afraid to dream again. I was afraid to allow myself to open up to the possibility of something new because I'd been hurt. I'd been afraid. I had honestly let myself down so many times that I knew if I went after another thing, it would just be me doing another thing or trying another thing or putting myself out there just to be hurt again. So what ended up happening is I started my coaching business in 2014 and because some things in life happened and I didn't have a strong mindset yet, I didn't have the strong belief in myself, I allowed, it some, allowed some outside circumstances to speak lies to me. I allowed some outside circumstances to tell me things about myself that I was already feeling. You know, I created meaning. I created it. Okay, so this is proof that I shouldn't do this. This is proof that I'm just a fraud. This is proof that I have no business helping other people grow out their lives and their business because... You know, I had these deeply rooted insecurities and these outside circumstances would just validate that for me. It would validate that for me. So what ended ha up happening is I took those dreams. I took those amazing things that God had put on my heart and I literally, I closed the book. I closed the book on those dreams because I was too afraid of getting hurt, of being disappointed once again of allowing myself to, you know, be rejected because of the rejection I felt inside of myself. And the reason why I'm sharing this, my point in sharing this this morning is because I wonder if there's anyone out there today that is hearing this and is thinking, yeah, Val, I am so afraid to put myself out there. I'm so afraid that what if I fail? What if I fail? What if somebody doesn't understand my dreams? What if someone in my life doesn't understand? What if I pursue my dreams and I find out that that's not what I was supposed to do? And what I have to say to that is, congratulations. You're human. 
you are experiencing the basic fears that we all go through, right? It's easy to look at someone who has some time, who has some success in their business or has some success in pursuing their dreams and really compare your chapter one or your chapter two to their chapter 15 or their chapter 20 when honestly they've been like, I've been exactly where you are. I've had the fear, I've had the doubt, I've had the insecurities, I've had the lies spoken, I've had the fear that arises through outside circumstances, through internal speaking, whatever that is. So in 2014, when I, I closed the book on my dreams, I literally went crawling back. You guys, it is so embarrassing when I think about it. I went crawling back to a toxic corporate work environment because I thought that was my only, that was my only option. I thought that was the only thing I could do. It was safe. It was easy. It was secure in a way. But the thing is, there was this feeling inside of my heart. There was this internal pull. There was this seed that was planted. And I knew that this beautiful thing was growing. But the problem was I had turned away and I was ignoring those calls. I was ignoring the seed that had been planted inside of me. I was ignoring what my true purpose was in life. And what happened is I ended up experiencing this like internal conflict. Does that, do you guys understand what I'm saying? Like that internal conflict I'm talking about. There was like this internal conflict where I felt like I was being pulled this way, but the fear was pulling me this way. And I just, I didn't know what to do. And I felt so unsettled and I felt so deeply like, oh, I wish someone would just tell me what to do. I just wish they would. <laughs> Kelly says, yes, 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 my girl. So yeah, like, and then what ended up happening is on a February morning in 2018, here I was again and something reminded me. In my morning with prayer and meditation, God reminded me to open up that book, to dust it off, take it off the shelf, and to open that chapter again because I wasn't done. He wasn't done with me yet. He wasn't done. And the reason why I share this is because I know that there's someone here watching that maybe you're at that point where you're like, I don't even know what to do. I wish somebody would just tell me the answer. Maybe you're experiencing that internal conflict I was talking about where you feel pulled over here, but then you feel over here and maybe the fear and the excitement and, and the fear of failing and the fear of success and the what ifs and the, all the things are, maybe that's pulling you. And let me share with you, the impact happens. The greatest step you will ever take is going all in, is going all in, in your dreams is going all in in your dreams, saying that no matter what, no matter what, you will find a way. Because if you think back in your life, think about the last 10 things you were truly worried about. Chances are most of them didn't even happen. Am I right? Like most of those didn't even come into fruition. None of them happened. So what's happening is we're spending so much time spinning our wheels up here in our head, overthinking, doubting, fearing, freezing, keeping ourselves stuck in this momentum when really what we need to do is like nurture and water and grow that seed that was planted inside us. It is our job to grow the dream, to grow the desire. If you know that you know that you know in a shadow of a doubt, beyond a shadow of a doubt inside of your heart that there's a seed that is blossoming. It is your responsibility to grow it. Because let me tell you, I just sent this out in an email earlier when I, I walked on coals. So check your inbox if you're on my email list. So I walked on fiery coals two years ago. I walked across a bed of, of fiery coals. And my husband told me not to do it. <laughs> because he didn't understand. In his engineer brain, it didn't make sense. And, you know, well-meaning people gave me statistics. Well-meaning people gave me information. Well-meaning people gave me unsolicited advice about what was going to happen or what could happen or, you know, shared with me all these different things about, you know, da, 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 da. But the crazy thing is they're not going to understand the garden that is growing inside of you. They're not going to understand that even though there might be thorns, that beautiful rose that grows, that comes from the ashes, that comes from the earth, when you nurture and you cultivate and you take care of your dreams, 
other people aren't going to understand what is growing inside of you. Other people won't understand the beauty until you grow it. And then let me tell you, they're going to step back and they're going to see this beautiful garden. And then they're going to say, oh my gosh, how did you do it? How did you do it? I can't tell you three years ago how many people told me, you shouldn't leave your corporate job. You're so good at it. Why would you do this? You're top salesperson. Why? Why wouldn't you, like, don't you want to have, like, a real job and have a steady paycheck? And, you know, if you just spend a couple more years doing this, you'll be the executive director. And then, oh, my gosh, and da-da-da-da-da, and what, your whole life is figured out for you. You could be a regional sales manager. And then, you know what would happen? I'd be so stressed. I'd be so, like frazzled and there's no way I would have as much freedom and joy and happiness and love to give to those around me to my husband to my family to ministry to you know all the amazing things that I get to be a part of you know we just donated over four thousand dollars to rock bottom hope I don't know if you guys saw that on Friday but we gave them the check because I get to pursue my dreams today and let me tell you now instead of people doubting the soil that I'm growing it or doubting that I have the right climate, the right culture, enough sunshine, doubting if I have enough water supply, doubting if I'm going to be able to do it, doubting if I'm going to be able to grow. Now they look at my garden and they say, you go girl. I want to know how you do it. I want to know how you planted that seed and how you allowed it to grow. So if you know, if you're in that space girl you know you were created for more you know that there's something beyond this pile of dirt that if you just take that seed if you plant that seed if you give it water and nurture it and you grow it and you spend time and you give an honest effort and attempt to really grow this thing out that in three months, six months, one year, you're going to look back. You're going to be harvesting so much from those beautiful seeds that you are going to be like, oh my gosh, there's abundance plus more. There's abundance and more. I have enough to give to my family to give them a better life. I have enough to give my time. I have enough to go on vacation. I have enough to pursue my dreams. And I have enough capacity in my life now to really make a difference in other people's lives because... I took that opportunity to plant that seed, to pay attention and to grow. So if you're ready to grow, I want to invite you. I want to invite you. Hello, Brittany Harvey. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. I want to invite you guys. I am doing a free master class called Grow. It is all about scaling your business, making more money, and growing that dream that's inside of you. This masterclass is on Friday, March 26th at 2 p.m. Pacific. So 2 p.m. Pacific, Friday, March 26th. If anyone's watching, go ahead and type that in the comments so we don't forget. And you are going to understand how to grow your business. You're going to understand how to scale and you are going to understand how to make more money. So I will put the comment, I will put it in the comments if you guys want to join in on that. Otherwise, you know, go, this is, it's absolutely free. It's a free masterclass I'm doing. It'll be um, about an hour, hour, 15 minutes. So if you're not able to make it to the live, that's okay. I will have a replay as well. You can watch it. You can grow. You can cultivate. You can do all the things. You're going to get all the same information. You just won't be live and that's totally okay. So if you want in on that, let me know. Kelly said I'm in. Oh my goodness. Yes, 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 girl. So, oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. I'll put the comments. Brittany says I'm in. Yes, 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 my love. Okay, I will put the link in the comments to sign up. This is going to be powerful, powerful. It's called Grow the Masterclass, how to scale your business and make more money. It's going to be beautiful, amazing information, you are going to feel like a blooming flower, a gorgeous, beautiful flower that is standing in the garden, receiving all the love, all the beauty, and you're going to see the results that you can create in your very own garden once you decide to plant that seed and pursue that dream. So I'm super excited for that. Also, you guys, I have a really fun announcement on Wednesday. I think I mentioned it in the email we sent out yesterday, but I have a really exciting announcement on Wednesday. 
So I am going to um, let you guys know on Wednesday. So stay tuned. I'll probably be live over the next couple days, but I'm going to be making a really fun announcement on Wednesday. We have Grow the Masterclass coming up on Friday, March 26th. I literally thought it was April this morning. I was like doing my quarter one numbers and then I'm like, what am I doing? It's only April or March 15th. What the heck? I was already into quarter two doing some planning and I got a little confused. <laughs> I love it. That's the life of an entrepreneur. You never really even know what day it is, right? So I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Go out there, plant your garden, plant the seed, nurture it, grow it. And for goodness sakes, go after your dreams because you know what? You got one life. What is that? YOLO? <laughs> you only live once, right? Like you only live one life. And you know, like it is my heart's purpose to really open up the door and allow other women to grow, to help them, you know, along the way to walk beside you and to help you grow that beautiful, gorgeous business that you truly desire. So I love you guys so much. Go hang out with me in the wild tribe. I'll be in there later. I love you and I'll see you very soon. Mwah. Bye. Love you, Miss Kelly. Mwah. Thanks, Brittany.